Hello everybody, my name is Merc. We are back with more Elden Ring. We are in the High Road Cave, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes, that is indeed where we are. And we're going to go into this pit. This is a new session. It is the next day of Elden Ring action. I was excited to play more. Even if, uh... I'm not entirely sure where we're gonna go after this cave just yet. I thought about it a little bit, but we'll see how I feel at the end of this little adventure. So we got a wolf up ahead. The cave is not too dark, so we can put away our torch and two-hand our sword. In fact, we have to two-hand our sword. Uh, there is a light shining directly into this pit. Doesn't seem like the wolf is upset with our presence just yet. Lots of bloodstains just appeared. Got another wolf in the corner on our left. And some bushes to the right. Let's see what happens if we walk up to this wolf. Oh, there's multiple wolves in here. Seems we have encountered a wolf den. Okay, so as expected, the wolves aren't too pleased with seeing us here. Are they really going to... Their pathing made them walk to the other side. Did that uh, first wolf? Looks like heard the noise and probably wants to investigate. Okay. Don't necessarily want to take out these wolves, but it's happening. It seems like one of our fastest attacks might be the rolling attack. Could this be a message? It might be comparable to normal attacks. You have to include the roll animation in that we're going to say it's faster or slower. Rather dark in this spot here, but there was nothing in there, just some more bushes. So there is that pit down below. See some messages along the platforms that we can fall down. But before we commit, let's see what we see over here. Oops. Precious item ahead. Let's uh, pull out the torch once more. Looks like we got a big wolf there. Lots of bloodstains. There's multiple wolves, at least two. Put away the torch. Take out the first wolf, and now we have the alpha. Oh, we missed. Once again, that roll attack seeming pretty valuable. Got some more thin beast bones. You know how I appreciate having more of those. What is this item? A golden rune. So much for a precious item ahead. Says this message. Oh, be wary of wolf. Says this message. That's pretty funny. Blood stain ahead. It's true. There were a lot of blood stains in there. For what was just uh, a two wolf encounter. Seems like folks are getting hasty going through these tunnels this is a quite a fall we found ourselves with but we'll continue falling down um here it's true you do want to fall down the message pa uh, path here with two exclamation marks this time uh it looks like we're gonna follow the the whole way down now uh, you know me, I kind of want to use the rainbow stone. I don't think it's that necessary, but it's fun to use, at least for me. Okay. Uh, nothing too spectacular. The sound did not scream. Try right. Uh, I don't know what right was in comparison. Uh, we got ourselves a little bonfire down here, as well as... Some more wolves. Let's see what's back up here. Ah, grass. It was literally just cave moss. Why is it always futility? That's funny. Okay, so we're at a dead end. A little bit of space to pull these wolves back into if we need to. Two hand our sword. Looks like there's a. A corpse of a man there. Looks like a Kaiden warrior. 
I'm going to assume it's just these two wolves right now. It's a good jump attack. I really like the big sweep that this sword can do. Uh, let's pull out the torch once more. There's another path over there. I hear rushing or running water in the distance. Seems like it's coming from this direction. Another corpse of a Kaiden warrior. Time for ambush. Be wary of ambush. A lot more wolves. Be wary of wolf. In short, be wary of ambush. Okay, let's see what's going on up here. It, this area was a bit more concealed. It was hidden behind these barrels and piles of wood. Which to me indicates there'd be an item or a secret back here, but that's not always the case with this game. Be wary of left. There is a wolf to our left, and it is alert. But it has now been slain. Try target lock. We got an arteria leaf, the classic blue item arteria leaf. We have four wolves down here. This is the big one. Don't think we want to necessarily fight or jump down just yet. I'm surprised the holy water pot was enough damage to take out the wolf. Let's go back this way. Maybe we'll use our last holy water pot on the last wolf up ahead. Just trying to get as much use out of them as possible. That worked. The other wolf did not acknowledge us. Okay, now the wolf has acknowledged us. Or at least stood up. Okay. Trying to do more rolling attacks. The second time it worked. And we got the alpha in the back corner. Could go all the way back up and around and do a jump attack onto this wolf, but I don't think it's necessary. I'm sure the wolf will see us any moment now. Oh, our message was appraised. It was a good dodge from the wolf. The message of appraisal did heal us. Oh, another good dodge from the wolf. Did trade a bit of damage there. We got our fire grease. We have quite a few of them now, so we should probably use those. Gonna keep taking out the torch because it's rather dark in here. What was the message that got him praised? I'm curious. Try jumping in the Stormfoot Catacombs. Well, I'm glad I left that message now. Lots of bats here. Didn't expect gorgeous view. Got a Statue of America here. Probably don't want to fall all the way down. See an item on a precipice. Let's see what we got going on over here. Try ranged battle. Bird ahead and try in short try ranged battle. Yeah, I guess we could do that. What if we shoot this one in the head? See, that did so much more damage than the last bats we were fighting. We have a lot of arrows, and by a lot of arrows, I mean we have a lot of magic arrows. By using one on this bat. Probably have to lead the target a little bit. Not that much. Not at all, actually. We hit it wing. Let's back out of this. <laughs> it's like, how do I get up there? I'm just going to keep taking out these bats. As much as I'm not one for ranged battle. Doesn't seem wise to fight many bats at once. Is this one not moving anymore? Alright, there's only two more bats left. I'm a lot more comfortable dealing with that. We got another item over here, guarded by yet another bat. Still taking out bats in one shot, at least these ones. We almost missed the item it dropped, which was just a golden rune. I believe the, the bat corpse just fell off the cliff. Many bloodstains in this cave. Got a waterfall over here. A 
In fact, there's three more bats. I wonder... Can't even get back up. I was gonna say, I wonder if to get to this item over here... We need to fall from above. A little late for that, though. I had a feeling there would be more bats in here. I'm just flailing wildly. Hopefully we don't get swept away by the water here. It does not appear that there's a current that affects us. Smithing stone 2. Another dead end. Oh, we got octopus over here. Some babies. Octopus ahead. I can't tell. Is that a big one? No, it doesn't look like it. Just more small ones. This is the first time we went behind a waterfall and actually found something. I guess we found some items in front of waterfalls before, though. We look up and see what's going on up here. Doesn't really look like there's a whole lot going on up there. Some interesting water effects. My graphics quality is on low, so... They don't appear, uh, doesn't appear that uh, nice looking. I've seen better water in video games. This is kind of scary. Um, so much so I'm going to pull up the bow again. I'm not even scared of the bats, really. More scared about the fall we're about to do, but we're doing it. Gotta make sure we are stepping on rocks as opposed to falling into a pit. Because I imagine if we miss this jump here in a moment, we will die. We just got a, sh a sham sheer weapon. We'll check that out in a moment because this bat is about to engage. I don't know how that bat ended up behind us, but it did. What is a sham shear? It looks like a weapon. If I had to guess, it is. It's a curved sword. A curved sword with a thin blade of ample length. Light of weight, despite its larger size, its slicing attacks come in rapid succession. A devastatingly powerful weapon in the hands of skilled swordmen with a spinning slash skill. Doesn't appear to have anything... too interesting about it but i wonder i'm sure almost that it scales better with dexterity once you level it up is my assumption so we got this more platforming over here that leads to a fire i imagine that's the way to go but i did notice there's another path over here there's a door ahead this person's gonna fall i don't know what weapon they're using i'm gonna try a run jump because i am very frightened here. Whew, that was a little worrying. Here you say. I'm very scared. Okay, we can jump up. We're behind the waterfall. And we're going deeper into the cave. Oh, good luck. In short, try something incredible. Well, crap. I did not expect this to be the way to go. Let's pick up some silver fireflies. And I guess we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back and see... ...what this other area was. But actually, we can't even go back now. I don't think we can make this jump. Once again, I found myself doing some platforming and not considering how we may return. So I guess we are going to fight this boss now, because I don't really want to die slash teleport out. Uh, so here we go, I guess. We take out those uh, holy water pots. Do we want to play with any of these? Let's play with some sleep pots. Let's see if we can sleep this boss, whatever's coming up. 
If it's a beast, I think it increases the chance that we can sleep it. Okay, it is not. It looks like to be another giant. We've already slain one of these before. We've slain a couple, in fact. One of them had a bow, and one of them was in the Eternal City. Or rather, the Capital City. You gotta remember, those are two different locations. Uh, let's make some of these, too, just for fun. We can make 14. Let's not make 14. Let's make, like, 6. Let's make, like, 5. Um... So we can't sleep this enemy, almost certainly. But I do want to try this Exalted Flesh now. Here we go, the Guardian Golem. I imagined this creature... Uh, has a lot of armor. So the Exalted Flesh seemed like a good solution. Or idea. Doing a charge heavy attack into its butt. Ran out of stamina though. Not quite sure what attack it's doing there. Oh! It's doing a big fire breath and backing up. That is a new attack. Okay. Run underneath its feet. We did get stomped a little bit. And then stamped. Stomped and then stamped. Good roll there. We once again knocked it on its face. Very easy boss. That exalted flesh was almost unnecessary. A blue dancer charm. Uh, was that a trinket? It was a talisman, sorry. Raises attack power with lower equipment load. A cloth doll depicting a dancer garbed in blue, an ancient heirloom of sort. Dancer in blue represents a fairy who, in the legend, bestowed a flowing sword upon a blind swordsman. Blade in hand, the swordsman sealed away an ancient god, a god that was wrought itself. I wonder if uh, there's more lore to that, if we will encounter said sealed ancient wrought god. Now, I imagine equipping this will not do a whole lot for our damage. It raises attack power with lower equipment load, but we are... Almost always at medium equipment load, especially with this giant sword of ours. It seems like that might be it for this arena, though. Time for tranquility. Yes. Sit down underneath the, the dripping water and meditate. So, yes, it appears that there's nothing else going on in these ruins. And it appears we cannot go back the way we came, so I guess we're going to return to the entrance. Um, and then work our way back down to that bat section. I'm not too pleased with having to do this. But it is what it is. We could sit down, but we don't necessarily need to. We'll just get one flask back. I imagine all the wolves will respawn, though. Just gonna run through. Which includes just falling down here. Getting a little bit of frame dropping as we drop down here. Do the same jump swipe attack. Take out those wolves pretty easily. Um, I wonder if I can stealth through this next section. It's a little dark right now. I imagine it's probably hard to see. But you already saw what's coming up. Oh, okay. I didn't see that though. I don't know why, but uh, that wolf was ready to attack and I was not prepared. I'm going to run past. I'm assuming the wolf will chase us. It did not, or at least it's not currently. Let's continue and take out some bats. Oh, again, I already made the decision one way or the other, because I was wondering if we should have jumped to the other waterfall. I guess that bat standing on the pillar over there saw us. We don't need to deal with that bat in the corner. Well, 
hopefully to get to that item we just need to walk through this path over here <laughs> once again i'm just like slowly walking forward swinging my blade now is the point where i'm gonna take out the bow again Headshot with the magic arrow was enough to take out that bat, but not this bat because uh, damage fall off, I imagine. What the heck is going on here? I think it just keeps walking or bouncing into that, that torch. Bit of a wasted arrow, considering it's not dying. Really? It's like investigating where I threw the the knife. Oh my gosh. Once more. I'm just threading the needle. Let's just make some more bone darts. I don't even know where the bat went now. Well, I guess we're falling. Oh, there's the bat. That's not good. I just need to hit it once, even if it's a one-hand weapon. Okay, I threw the knife at it. It's hard to tell what's going on with this dang water. Alright. Do some more platforming. Hopefully we'll get that item. Oh, I was really worried there. I was not running. Oh, there's another octopus right here. Guess we'll take that out. Alright, was this worth all the effort coming over here? More Kaiden warrior corpses. It does look like it's leading us to that other item we saw. Oh. Um. Try blood loss. There's an octopus on the ceiling. Not quite sure what's going on with that. We'll use some more of these magic arrows we've been getting. Listen, I'm not scared of you. It just like swatted me back. Okay. Took a number of heavy attacks. But we did get the stagger opportunity. And the critical strike. Imagine we're just getting an ovary from it. That's all we did. Lots of dead Kaiden warriors here. Didn't even notice that corpse. There's so many of them. Oh, I just used my thing by accident. My wondrous flask. This does appear to be leading to that item. Behold dung. Dung item. Wow. All that just to come over here. I guess it does lead to the boss. And I guess we're done with this area. So let us actually just warp up out of here instead of messing about with anything else. And I think what we're going to do is come back to the Third Church America. Maybe we'll search this beach side a little bit. But I think we're going to continue up this upper area and then work our way back to Stormvale eventually. <laughs> it seems like everywhere else we've kind of uh, explored to my satisfaction. We still have that dragon we, we can kill and we can also go back to the Fringe Folk Hero's Grave, which we may do. That area was scary, but not that scary. Uh, it's less scary than Kaelid, in my opinion, especially the deeper section of Kaelid that we found ourselves in the previous episode. That area seemed like hell, so... Definitely don't want to go back there anytime soon. I think this beach actually had nothing on it. We did a cursory glance when we encountered it previously. It was like a delayed log being broken. 
by torrent. There is a crab in the distance. Man, every time I break a log, it, the frames drop a little bit. I don't know if that's a coincidence or not. Oh, it didn't happen there, so it might have been. Crab coming out of the sand. Is this, like, trying to engage with us? The battle music queued. Come on, put up your dukes. It really does seem like it wants to attack us. I'm gonna let it. Alright. Good job, Crab. You did it. I imagine there's going to be more crabs. I wonder if uh, maybe they're more aggressive at night. Uh oh. <laughs> it just killed its own crab, baby. Some big damage there. <laughs> Hard to tell what's going on, but I did dodge its attacks twice. I'm gonna chug real quick. Crab eggs, strip of white flesh. Can't believe it just killed its own crab baby. Nature is cruel. Let's get back on the horse. Deal with this crab monster as well. But I kind of doubt we'll get anything of value over here. Seems like it might be sleeping. Or it was inspecting this corpse. A strip of white flesh times three. Uh, I was looking at these items. Some of them use strips of white flesh and some of them don't. Uh, it doesn't... I want to last longer than traditional cured meat. Okay, that's what I thought. So white flesh is actually slightly more valuable. Alright, so I guess we checked out this beach side, and there was really nothing to show for it, so we'll make our way up towards that Erd tree. I don't know if we'll actually go to it, though. It seems like it's quite a ways in the distance. So maybe, maybe not. Depends on what we see when we get up there. This just leads back into the Mistwood, which I don't want to deal with, since we already did deal with it. If I never return there again, I'll be, uh, I'll be pretty happy with that. <laughs> it doesn't, I don't know if there's an easy way up here. We might have to take the spirit spring we saw earlier, which I'm not too against. I was just wondering if there was a way we could maybe traverse our way up via mountain climbing with our horse. Definitely not taking the sending gate again. That was... <laughs> Quite a mistake that I never want to do again. That wasn't that big of a mistake. My curiosity made me go. Alright, so we're going to deal with all the wolves up here. And send ourselves up. I don't know if we're actually going to take that spirit spring. We'll just continue along this path here. Wolves appear to be sleeping. Some of them anyway. I wonder if I should maybe use a different weapon while we're mounted. Just because this weapon's mounted attack is less than ideal when we're dealing with groups of enemies. Now I'm curious though. There's that goat over there. It's not a ram, so it probably won't attack us. Let's see what happens if we take out the, the great axe. I want to see what its moveset is while we're on the horse. Yeah, we do get a two-swing attack. I wonder, is it actually a three-swing attack? This is one-handing. Let's um get off the horse, two-hand it. Get on the horse, and spam. It appears to be the same animation, and we do get three swings out of it, so... It seems like two-handing or one-handing on the horse doesn't change your animation at all, it just increases your damage. So, to me, that suggests, like, there's no real reason not to two-hand your weapon. And maybe that's why there's that downside where you can't 
to hand it while you're already on the horse. Doesn't seem like, um... the biggest of downsides. Or even if it's intentional or not. It might be, though. We'll just continue along with our Great Axe, though. I do think this is a better mounted weapon than the Rafted Blade Great Sword. Particularly when dealing with a number of enemies. Because then you can do something like that. Hey, how's it going, White Wolf? Want to come down here? No? What if I go up there? I tried to do a heavy attack. <laughs> I do like that you can hold the heavy attack out. We're taking a lot of damage here. So, time to chuck. Got another Trina Lily and a Spirit Spring. Oh, I'm going to jump up just to see what we see up here. Oh, another Spirit Spring. Cave ahead. What was that message saying? It's not even pointing anywhere. Uh, let's jump up here too, I guess. Just again, see what we can see. Uh, a big plains area. With some ruins at the top. Uh, we'll jump back down, deal with more wolves. Give this a more thorough exploration. Seek left and then cave ahead. Oh, I do see it now. Uh, it looks like we may come up here naturally if we continue along the normal path as opposed to spirit springing our way up. So I'm going to go back down here. Nothing going on over here, I'm sure. Just some herbs. Yeah. Yeah. We really explored all that area, eh? Game is huge! <laughs> Alright. Let's continue forward. Go up the path normally. I almost wonder what, um... A horseless Elden Ring run looks like. Which you can and can't do. Since... Not only can you not spirit spring, you can't even double jump without the horse, so... It certainly would change the exploration factor of this game. Another uh, ransacked caravan here. Some neutralizing boluses. Not that useful of an item. In fact, there's only one of them. So if anything, it was more of a, a trap than an item. They wanted you to go loot it just so the wolves can attack you. Nothing going on over here. Do you see that little icon of where we died, where our runes are? We're definitely not getting those back. In fact, I think uh, it was zero runes on the that site. I don't know what to call it. On our bloodstain is what we'd call it in previous Souls games. You see a troll coming up ahead. This is leading back towards that cave. I think it was actually a mine shaft. So I, I guess we're gonna go explore that. Do some more spelunking. I wonder maybe if this... Yeah, okay, so I think I figured it out. This little blue symbol indicates that you can't take torrent with you through this. Okay. It's a little odd of a mechanic, but at least it indicates something. Instead of just uh, kicking you off your horse for no real reason. The Gale Tunnel. Let's switch back to the Grafted Sword, which is all the way at the top. Grafted Blade Great Sword. Uh, we'll touch Grace. We do have six flasks. We're almost full HP. So I'm not going to sit down. Got a door to our left. As well as Smithing Stone 4 right here. Hopefully we can find some somber Smithing Stones in here. Upgrade our 
great sword. Although I'm saying that and we can't even go this way. What does this message say? Didn't expect warrior, hero ahead, friend ahead. Well, we haven't encountered a hero or a friend yet. So that's uh, unfortunate. It seems that maybe we need to meet an NPC in here. And then maybe they'll open up the door. So I guess we're going to mark this area off on the map. We will put a skull down. And keep that one in mind for later. And take a sip of water. I don't wanted to explore a cave, so I'm a little disappointed. First off, you don't have the right. It's true, apparently I did not have the right. Well, good thing we didn't sit down. All the wolves are still perished by our sword. Not that we're really going that way anymore anyway. Um, what the heck was that? I mean, it was a, a rolling troll, I guess. This one seems more lively than the others. I don't know if that's actually the case or not. Okay. Did a bit of a trade there. But his stomp is nowhere near as powerful as my sword is. He's taken out his sword. Slammed it down. Still didn't do that much damage. I don't know if... It's just not hitting me with the biggest attacks. Or if I'm just leveled up enough where... I'm resisting its damage a lot now. Because I'm definitely not my armor. <laughs> my armor is very weak at the moment. So we have reached the highlands once more. There's an interesting encounter there that we just had with the rolling troll. I guess we should heal up. Also, we need to upgrade our flask once more. Remind me to do that next time we sit down. Thanks, chat. <laughs> By chat, I mean commenters. Um, got another sword graveyard here, as I've been calling them. Has a, a message of lore on it. I guess we're going to check out this church as well. Assuming this area is in a big trap. I'm just going to give it a bit more of a, a wide berth. Check out this ledge over here. It doesn't look like there's anything going on. Although, I don't know. I see an, a, a second ledge here. Now I'm curious. It is nothing, though. Just a blood stain. Well, I'm just going to look at the map real quick. We do see this little structure on the map. And by little, I mean giant. But on the map, it seems kind of little. So we're back at Kalid, it seems. I don't know if I want to get close to that red wall. It's a wall of lava. And we got a town and a site of grace up ahead. Are we going to do damage to us if we get close enough to this? What if I attack it? I'm just scared to attack it a little bit. Okay, so it's not actually doing anything. What if I touch it? Okay, I put my face into it. Rub my face right onto it. Okay, I was going to say, usually there's sights of grace inside these broken churches, and there does appear to be one. But immediately, there's another sight of grace over here. Uh, but it is guarded by whatever the hell this thing is. That's that. That's a bird demon. A bird demon with teeth. Why does the bird demon with a with a beak require teeth? I can't answer that. I don't even know if I want to answer that. I can't. Okay, we got some slimes here on this ridge. I think we're going to ignore this area for now. We're going to come back down here 
deal with these dogs, maybe. I wonder if we can put these dogs to sleep. We have so many Trina lilies that I'm not too worried about this. It did fall asleep. We have bad experiences with these mangy mutts before, so... It seemed wise to maybe put one to sleep. I don't know how long they're going to stay asleep for. Long enough to get a charge attack in, is the answer. Drawstring Lightning Grease. Okay. Imagine that description is not going to be too different from the normal Lightning Grease. Have we? Yeah, we've encountered Lightning Grease already. Yeah, a short string is attached to this lump, so it is quicker to use, but also quicker to run out. Can maybe use it mid-battle a little more effectively, though. Noticing these, what are these? They are... They look like to be the dryads we were encountering at the encountering at the other Erd tree. Also, that Erd tree is so far in the distance. That must be the big one, the biggest, the biggin. There's also a fort in the distance. In fact, the minor Erd tree is right over there, which would explain why we are encountering those dryad creatures. Because last time we encountered them, they were guarding the Erd tree as well. So, we have the choice if we want to go deeper into Caleb over there, or not. I'm leaning towards not for now. Is there any message on this? There is. Lord Godfrey, at last at the end of his campaign, his golden armies unvanquished and unbowed, yet finds grace lost, tattered and faded. So Lord Godfrey, I went through and... Uh, as I mentioned previously, kind of wrote down some stuff and read some more uh, of the information we found so far. Lord Godfrey was the first Elden Lord. What does that mean? I don't know. I guess it meant that he had the Elden Ring and uh, conquered the lands either with it or to get it. And maybe Kaled was the end of his campaign. Uh, maybe this spot right here indicates where he stopped trying to conquer lands and all the areas to the east, all of Kaelid, uh, was under reign of a different lord. Again, I'm just kind of looking what's going on over there. I believe if when we got a better angle of that fort, it appeared to be an arena of some sort. Again, though, I don't know if I want to go over there. I want to see how powerful those dryads are. As I've been calling them. I believe they're just called Guardians, though. I don't remember what item we had that... Actually, I think it was just like Guardian Greaves. Check out my equipment. Sorry. Yeah, Guardian Greaves. It said the, their deaths led not to destruction, but instead to renewed eternal life as Guardians. Doesn't seem like this castle, or this church is trapped. I'm gonna leave a dumb message here. Just because I can. There's so many messages high up that just say here that I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, places? Can I just say here? No, directions? Concepts? Here is a concept, a phrase. Here. <laughs> Okay, another dumb message. Because that's all you seem to find in this dang game. The ratio of dumb messages to good messages is like 9 to 10. Or 9 to 1, I guess. I'm trying to say like 90%. Ratios is, is, are difficult. So we got two people, who, two people who died here, two different items. Missionary's Cookbook 3 and Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 14 and we're not actually getting any um, upgrades for our flask which is what had which we uh, we've been finding here uh, in various other broken churches this is called the smoldering church 
does appear to be smoldering. What do these messages say? Be wary of sword fighter. I wonder if we're maybe missing something. I sure hope not. But there is a very strong chance we are. Uh, NPCs. Oh, we can't even mount up over here. Oh, invaded by Anastasia, tarnished eater. Okay, that would be what we were missing. <laughs> she just walked into my heavy charge attack. This uh appears to be a very similar move set to Mildred. I'm going to call her Mildred, of the Swamp of Dark Souls 1, had a great cleaver attack. Anastasia, Tarnished Eater, has died. It's a rather uh, direct message. Usually it says something like, has been defeated or has returned to their world. But no, they died. Sacred Scorpion Charm. So I guess we're not missing anything over here. Let's see what this charm has. Raises holy attack but lowers damage negation. A talisman carried by assassins who strike unseen. Patted on the scorpion freshly shed of its exoskeleton. Its claws seizing, uh, seizing a harp with a blessed glow. So it makes it so you take slightly more damage. But you do more holy damage. A lot of items with downsides in this game. Uh, there were quite a few in previous Souls games, particularly for casters. Made it so your casting did more damage, but you would pretty much get one shot. Which honestly, I find fair. I know some people don't like that aspect. But if you hit a caster, they should die, in my opinion. Especially with a sword like this. <laughs> Alright, so it appears we are done here. As much as... I want there to be more to this church. Uh, it looks like we need to move on. So the question is, do we move on eastern to Kaled? Or do we return left? I think we're going to continue west and head back to Stormvale as we can. Maybe we'll encounter more NPCs, someone who will want to take us to that mine shaft we found. There's a whole ruin section ahead. And that herb tree to the east of us isn't going anywhere. The music reverted back to the limb grave ambiance. Which honestly I'm kind of a little sick of, but it's better than hearing the perilous strings of Kaled's music. Just having a look what it looks like this layout is. So I guess we'll check out, check out these ruins first. Good luck. Or why? What's going on here? What is this gesture? Time for something incredible and they're pointing forward. Or no, they're using the strength emote. I don't believe it, but tree. It's true, there is a tree in the distance. We got another message appraised. You know me, I gotta check to see what's what's getting up there. Oh, our here Kaelin message. People like their dumb messages, apparently. A little worried about what we're gonna find in these ruins. Summon Water Village. Bunch of penguins down there. Just having a look at the outskirts of this uh, ruined building before we go in there. Sneak edge. Bug ahead. Yes, I did see some dragonflies. So we'll get off the horse and walk through the doorway there. Not seeing anything just yet. The dragonflies I saw. There they are. We're over here. I don't want to waste all my bone darts, although we have a lot of them. But really, I just don't want to attack these things in general. That said, time to attack these things. I 
Time to attack. All right, that appeared to be it. I only saw three. There's an elk in the distance. I do hear something. Something is patrolling the waters below. Oh, it's like a, a ferryman. Is that the river sticks and we found ourselves Karen? I'm going to assume no. <laughs> There's really nothing in this building. Just some dragonflies. There is a message over here in an entryway into this tower. Golden Rune 4. We are probably stacking up quite a few of those runes now. I don't like using them to level up, although we definitely can. Um, seek chaos and then seek clue. People did say go to the edge. There does appear to be a ledge down there. This is just, uh, yeah, the foundations of a ruined building. Well, nothing down here. Guess we gotta take out the horse to get back up. Don't like being on the horse while we're along a cliff top. Time for waterside. Hmm. I really expected there to be something over here. I don't know why. But I did. I guess it was one of these messages. Seek edge. The best troll messages aren't, you know, try finger, etc, etc, or here, or all the other dumb messages people can place. The best troll messages are like giving you an idea that there's something more to an area and making you waste time circling. <laughs> I gotta keep that one in mind in case I wanna leave a good troll message later. Like, try gesture in the middle of like a broken room. And people will be like, what, what do you mean? There's a spirit spring we could have jumped up earlier. Got a nice view over here. You can see the, the troll in the distance. Did we check these coffins? I think we did. Yeah, there was a... A corpse with something... I don't know, it was a talisman or something? Let me, let me get a better view. Oh no, we didn't. What the hell am I thinking of? I'm thinking of these coffins. We also hear... Oh, there it is. A scarab. It's a red scarab. We have six flasks, so... Don't need to deal with that at the moment. There is a cellar over here. In fact, uh, an imp statue at the cellar as well. Behold dog. Well, this only costs one key, it looks like, so we'll do it. Let's see what this message says, though. Talisman. Okay. One key for a talisman seems like a good trade to me. I probably have like seven left if my memory is correct. Be wary of pack. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I love this. Praise the dog. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I was so worried, like, oh no, there's an ambush in here. Be wary of the pack. It's just a pack of turtles. It's just a pack of turtles. Watch there be like a deadly boss in here. <laughs> Liar ahead. Green turtle talisman. First off, confusion. Uh, what does this talisman do? Raises stamina recovery speed. That's exactly what I was going to posit. 
because that's what the other turtle meat and other things do. A talisman in the shape of a green turtle. Turtles are known as a nutritious ingredient, symbolic of an inex inexhaustible power. However, those who hold turtles to be wise creatures consider the practice of eating their meat to be barbarous. Barbarous. I love that. Um, it's not, another thing that I thought of just now while reading that is in previous Souls games, there were items that increased your stamina recovery speed, such as green blossoms, and people use them a lot. So much so that I wonder if the developers wanted to discourage use of them. And so they made it so to get that same effect, you have to kill a turtle. I ain't about that life. So we're definitely going to wear that talisman for now. As much as our charge attacks are giving us big damage. We're not always using charge attacks. We are always using stamina. So it seems like you can't go wrong having a trinket that increases your stamina recovery speed. Is my logic there? So I guess maybe we'll check out these coffins now before we check out the ferryman. I don't know if there's a way back up, but I guess the spirit springs aren't too far. We might have to actually fall down here. It seems. It's probably a safer way to fall. Doesn't seem like the safest way to fall, but it is a way. Actually, no, this is fine. Let's see what these coffins contain. More runes, I assume. Golden rune 5. Might as well get this skull as well. I like how some of them are closed and are not giving runes. The ones that are slightly open we can loot. And then this coffin was looted entirely. So we didn't have anything to loot out of there. Just wondering if we can climb up this way. Not that I actually want to. It does seem like you can maybe. Let's see if we can get up by the spirit springs. Since it doesn't look like we'll be able to get up the way we came down, which is right here. Just some golden runes down there. Basically what I expected. All the wolves are still collapsed. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I didn't know if we were going to make that or not. And I still don't know if we made that or not. <laughs> I guess we technically did. Just looking up at the skybox, I noticed the sun in the sky. I called this a moon earlier, but that's a rather large moon, if so. And uh, I had the theory that sorceries come from space, from meteors. I wonder if the moon is the source of sorceries. Chunks of the moon flying off and crashing into the lands between. Whatever this planet may be called, if this is a planet, I don't know the cosmology of of uh, the lands between and the Elden Ring area. <laughs> I don't know how, but I was like stuck on the wall there for a moment. Alright, so we explored this area a bit more. Do we check out what this ferryman has to say? I wonder how deep this water is. It doesn't look that deep at all. It's an enemy. Ferryman has nothing to say. The fact that it's called the Summon Water Ruins or whatever. Actually, I guess I can just look over. Summon Water Village. To me suggests that this ferryman might not be alone when we approach it. Um, excuse me? the heck? You're not allowed out of the water. It's... Or is a horn. I, I'm sure that it knows we're here. All the more. The Tibia Mar Mariner. Oh, shoot. 
uh, I just realized that D of the round table hold said to be careful about mariners. Tibia mariner. I don't know why they're named after a specific bone in the body, but I guess they are an undead creature. You scared me a little bit, turtle. I'm not going to lie. They did summon some creatures. In fact, they summoned a lot of creatures. So, unfortunately, we used all of our pots on sleep pots. I was going to make some holy water pots. Okay, so this looks like a unique boss encounter. What I imagine is about to happen is I'm going to attack it again. It's going to teleport somewhere else and summon even more skeletons. It just damaged its own skeleton. Friend, I should say. Oh, we staggered it. We did get another hit in there. I'm just going to ignore these gentlemen for now. And uh, go see if we can see the Mariner somewhere else. I'm going to guess it's over here to the left. I was correct, and I'm also incorrect in my assumption that it was summoning these creatures. Should get off the horse so we can actually do a decent combo. That is damaging me. Okay. Well, thankfully we had enough HP. Where even its big attack was not enough to take us out. And it took out all of its skeleton friends as well. We got Death Root, which is what D warned us about, where he said that he hunts those who live in death, I believe they are referred to, basically undead creatures, for their Death Root. Skeletal Militiamen Ashes. And a Smithing Stone 1. Okay. Let's read up on the Death Root. Uh, I don't know why I went to item crafting there. I don't know what type of material that would be. Is it a, a crafting material? I guess we'll read up on the skeletal militiamen. Actually, we have a few new ones that we've not really used. We haven't used the ancestral followers, and it looks like we can, because I believe, yeah, our FP is 65. Uh, skeletal militiamen. Ashen remains. These are the spirits of militiamen who live in death and will continue to rise again until properly finished off. This is a grotesque fate of those who come into contact with death root. Is it a material? Or is it a key item? Perhaps. It is a key item. A source that gives rise to those who live in death. The beast clergyman found at bestial shan sanctum in the east collects and devours these roots. On the night of the dire plot, the stolen rune of death enabled the first death of a demigod. Later, the rune of death spread across the lands between through the underground roots of the great tree sprouting in the form of death root. Okay, in the night of the dire plot. So, in the first cutscene, uh, someone died. Uh, it was Godwin the Goldwin. Oh, Godwin the Golden, which is not Godric or Godfrey. Okay, <laughs> he died in the night of the Black Knives. I wonder if that's what's being referenced here, in that the night of the dire plot. The stolen rune of death killed the first, or enabled the first death of a demigod. And then later, the that same rune of death spread across the lands between through the underground roots of the great tree, sprouting in the form of death root. So again, the, the great tree, whatever it was, was not an erd tree just yet. And that enabled undead to spread throughout the land after the first demigod was slain and that does coincide with uh that opening cutscene. i think that was one of the first npcs named in that opening cutscene. i watched it again just to be sure as i said i was taking some notes you know i had a feeling this skeleton was getting up i just took out your fairy man i'm not scared nor of you Please die properly so I can kill you again. 
Any more? I wonder if that's what these roots are. Uh, not quite the death root, but great tree roots that are uh, maybe afflicted by properties of the death root. It's starting to rain a little bit. Got some more Trina lilies. Might as well pick those up. We are using them now. I would like to get more cracked pots. We can have more variety in our pot throwing capabilities. Because I'm just kind of making five of one and then using them all up. It might be it for this area. It's just kind of a, a boss arena. Which explains why there's not a lot of loot in this area. That said, found some loot. A mushroom, which also, I believe, uh, has a mention of death. Uh, it does not, actually. But they do grow out of death, let's be real. <laughs> um, that might be it for this area, then. We haven't been that thorough with our exploration, though, so I do kind of want to check out this last building, I believe. Oh! Yep. Be wary of skeleton. Who knew? Appears there are two here. One has a, a scythe and appears to be talking. <laughs> Look at it go. I'm giving a, a sermon. In what's left of this church, perhaps. I want to see what happens with this other... Nothing really, it just kind of swung at me. I wanted to see if it would do a big special attack. It did seem like that other skeleton was raised immediately, even after we killed it. I wonder if that has to do with the presence of that other uh, Reaper skeleton, I guess I'll call it. Might as well go destroy this flask scarab. Get our flasks back. We only used one on that boss. Kind of circling around now. I think we have explored what there is to explore in here. Check the map real quick. Yeah. Kind of convinced there's not much else to explore over here. So I guess I'm going to check out up there. Again, don't know how long this video has been going on for, but I'm not adverse to you know, hour-long episodes, obviously, at this point. But we will probably end the video next time we encounter a Sight of Grace. Is my assumption. Um, I feel like there should be something along these coasts, but I guess I'm wrong. But, to sate my curiosity, we will continue along the coast anyway. This is where the boss encounter ended. Just some mushrooms down there. Mushrooms and wildlife. Looks like there's Absolutely nothing along this coast. Oh, and there's a Sight of Grace. So I think I have decided that we are going to call this an episode. We did take out a boss here. Explored quite a bit. Found another cave that we cannot access just yet. But hopefully we can soon. I'm not going to sit down even though we can upgrade our flasks. It doesn't seem that important to me right now. We will touch. What is that man? He was like a dex warrior with a curved sword but had the armor of a... Uh... I don't even know how to describe it. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. I very much appreciate it. 
Zoda's prattling Pate. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, folks.